All right, so finally starting the vlog. I was going to start the vlog outside. Um, and then my mom called and then she was on her way to drop off some chicken and some cookies, some chocolate chip cookies. So we're going to have cookies with our coffee. <laughs> and uh, so she just dropped off stuff. It was quick. And it's like, I get ready, go outside. Oh, that's nice. It's raining. You know, Mother Nature couldn't wait. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's that kind of day. Rainy, miserable, yeah, cloudy day. So, but, so we'll have coffee inside. It definitely is sweater weather. Yeah, it definitely is um, getting cooler out there. And it's a reminder to go through our seasonal clothes. Yeah, I have to go through our seasonal clothes. So maybe I'll do that today. We'll see. But first, coffee, cookie, dunk. Mm -hmm. That's how you eat a cookie <laughs> with your coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, so it looks like it's, gonna, it's just gonna be that kind of day. Yeah. Oh, we, we just finished watching the first um, Avenger movie. Yesterday we watched the. I think it's the third one, Ultron. Uh huh. <laughs> I think I don't know. There's so many Avenger movies. Mm. So we're just knocking them out of the park. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the first one, it's good. But I kind of don't like it because. I get reminded that Agent Coulson dies. Loki kills him. You know, Loki is a bad guy you hate but you love because he's really good at being a bad guy and he's really good looking too. Yeah, so you're kind of torn, <laughs> you know? I was like, I should hate you, but you're, oh boy, but you're really good looking. Um, but he has that mischievous side, right? And the guy who plays him plays the part fantastic, but he kills Agent, you know, Phil Coulson. And, um, like, he does come back in the TV show Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D., which I have watched. I totally forgot I watched that. I have watched that, but I don't think I've watched the last two seasons. I haven't watched that, the, the last two seasons yet. Um, because, like, I would watch it, I know, I would watch it every week, but then life gets busy, you know, and... There's just so many good shows to watch and I get to the point where I'm too far behind and it's like, okay, I'll just watch it, you know, some other time. And now that most shows and movies are streaming on like Disney Plus and that, it's like, okay, I can watch it. I can finally slowly get caught up. Um, so they do bring him back for the TV show, but the movies, you know, he's, he's dead. <laughs> just, uh, I like his character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I haven't gone through my magazines yet. I'm going to do that today. It's perfect weather for that. Um, but I did flip through this fast last night. Um, this is the one I got last year. This is Taste of Home pumpkin treats, desserts, bread, muffins, soups. Um, this one was $12.99. The Paula Deen wine, well, I guess, I guess you pay more because Paula Deen. You're paying more for her money. I mean, for her name. You're paying more money for her name. Um, $15.99. But to me, it's worth it because these magazines I keep. And I will definitely use, like, more than once. Um, so, this one I've already marked. I got paper clips on the page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully to make some muffins. Got my handy dandy paper clip there just to mark off the recipe. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to make all of these recipes, but I'm hoping to. Um, and also, want to make pumpkin raisin cookies. These look really good. 
right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hope hoping to do that. I figured those would be nice to try and eat, of course. So yeah, so like these kind of magazines, yeah, they cost more than your typical magazine, but to me it's worth it if you use it more than once. Especially if it's a recipe that you really like and you're gonna use the same recipe over and over again. So you definitely get your money's worth out of them. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So yeah, perfect weather. I'll, maybe I'll do that. I'll go through these two. Yeah, I'm gonna pick one from this one, too, for fall baking. Yeah, I think the only thing I'm going to, have to buy is um, confectionate sugar because I don't have any of that because my lid wasn't on tight. And I think the last time I used it was Christmas, and the lid wasn't on tight. And when I went to use it, um, the ants found it and they were having a party inside the container with the powdered sugar yeah they're like oh well, thank you for leaving us open you know yeah you're like oh yeah you're welcome uh -huh. so i have to still replace some and i think i have to get butter so but that'll be it. everything else i have so yeah yeah so i can't wait to start baking probably next week hopefully next week actually i might be baking this this weekend because i have that banana bread to make uh, but that won't take long banana bread throw everything in the same bowl mix it up Put it in a pan, throw it in the oven. <laughs> Pretty easy. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And it disappears just as quick. Yeah. Uh, every time. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. So, the Queen's funeral. I, I haven't had a chance to talk about that yet. So, the funeral was well put together. It was really nice. Um, I watched the replay of it. And yeah, it was well put together. Um, very emotional. Very, I, I got teary eyed, you know, here and there. Um, especially when they showed Prince William and Prince Harry walking behind the casket alongside their father. And it was that instant flashback to when they lost their mom, Princess Diana. You know, it was like, oh my gosh. And I think William was 14. And Harry was like 12, you know, and it's like, yeah, that that was a, a mood changer because you just had those images back in your head and it was like, oh my gosh, you know, um, and I can't believe that was that long ago. It doesn't feel like it, but yeah, time was flying by and I, 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 I was curious and I Googled, you know, if Diana wore her seatbelt would she have survived and if there was an 80 percent chance that she would have survived if she had worn her seatbelt i don't know why she didn't wear her seatbelt you know it doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you're in what type of vehicle the size you know it doesn't matter if there's a seatbelt you put that seatbelt on because it might save your life you know even like um thrill rides have stuff that keep you in you know sometimes they have seatbelts sometimes they have the bars they're there for your safety you know use it you know and it's just mind-boggling because if she did have her seatbelt on and survived who knows what she could have accomplished right because everybody loved her she was everybody's princess she had personality plus um she had the charisma you know everybody everybody loved her and she loved people you know and she really did she loved kids she loved trying to help everyone and yeah and we lost her way too soon you know yeah but it was like when that when I saw that it was like yeah that image we just re popped right back in my head like thanks <laughs> did not need that you know but yeah but it was well done um the Paul bearers um they did a fantastic job carrying the casket I held my breath when they had to go up steps I that was a little bit nerve wracking yeah yeah you know it was like yeah like no no pressure like oh my god like you know not only are you carrying queen elizabeth her majesty but you have everybody watching you from all over the world so don't screw up <laughs> you know? you know? uh but they did great they did awesome and they were in sync um they were they were perfect they did so good um 
that's not a job I, I would want. And yes, we are we are still coughing, if you can tell. And when the choir was singing, like, beautiful. Yeah, it was just really well done, and it was sad, and yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, it was just, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um. I know, I'm just seeing everybody's sadness on their face, you know, and just wanting to give them a big hug. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't imagine having to grieve in front of the public. I'm like, no oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, especially if you're Meghan Markle and the whole world doesn't like you, which I do not understand, but I I don't I don't get it. What what is up with the Meghan Markle hate? Like is it because she's not British, or are we playing the race card? Okay, because if we are playing the race card, that's been played one too many times. Let's put that back in the deck and not bring it back out, you know, because I don't understand the hate, you know, like, people. And then, like, there's somebody, there's, like, a, a TikTok, I almost said YouTuber, but not with TikTok, um, trying to show, um... Well, they're trying to show a clip on YouTube of her because I guess like when they when they have are like greeting the crowd and they um, are given flowers and that they have to hand them over to somebody who works for the royal family I'm not sure what they're called <laughs> you know um, because you don't know you know what could be on there like that could harm them and I never thought about that but that's very true, you know, because that would be the perfect opportunity if somebody wanted to hurt you, that would be the perfect opportunity opportunity to do it. And so that's what that's what they're supposed to do. Like flowers, um, stuffed animals, whatever they receive, they're supposed to hand it hand it off. Um, and this person was trying to like show Megan just um being a different person when the camera is on her versus when it's not on her. And I didn't really see it. I'm like what what are we looking? What are we looking for? I didn't see a reaction. Um, I think they're making something out of nothing. Just leave her alone. Let her live her life with Harry. Obviously, they're happy. You know, there's people that don't like Charles and Camila. I'm not a fan of Charles and Camila, anyways. But you know what? He should have been allowed to marry Camila, okay? And I know if they if they would have married when he first wanted to marry her, we wouldn't have William and Harry. Um, but you know, it's like. You know, back then he wasn't allowed to marry her, um, and but he eventually did. You know, because he's always he's always loved her. I don't know I don't know where the attraction is, but you know whatever, teach down. You know, I mean, you have a, a woman like Diana who is gorgeous, and then you have Camila, and yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, I know, like, you know, it's, it's, it's not, like, it's not the only thing that matters, you know, I know that, um, but still, you just can't help but wonder, you know, what he sees in her, okay, I mean, he's not really that great looking either, let's face it, he's not, um, not even when he was younger, no, 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 mm, no, um, and, um, but if he would have been allowed to marry her, but no, um, and, you know, and another thing is, Diana was young. Diana was 19 when they met, 20, I think, when they married. She was pretty much thrown to the wolves. Like, okay, you're on your own, you know? Um, and he was receiving pressure from his dad, from Prince Philip, you know, because he was like, well, wait, what are you going to do? You know, you either, okay, you have this great girl, you get on with it, or you move on, you know? Yeah. So he felt pressured, so he married her, and they married way too quick. They didn't really know each other, you know, and it, it just went, you know, it exploded in their face. So, yeah. But, you can't do anything. You can't change the past. It happened. And, uh, but I think Diana was a better person once she left the royal family. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I wouldn't want to be in her shoes, you know? No. And, then, and then it's like, I know with Megan and Harry, they did the Oprah in, interview, and 
I didn't really watch it. I don't really like Oprah. Um, I remember watching Oprah back in the day with, with my mom, you know, but I think now um, her head has gone too big for her and I don't like her as much anymore. You know, I don't, especially when she made a comment about, uh, I forget how she put it, but it, it was about something that, oh, you don't need Jesus to get into heaven. It was something like that. And it's like, boy, you're going to be shocked when you get to heaven because you do need Jesus. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> you know, so it's like, yeah, yeah, no, no it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Oprah who, you know. <laughs> I, I don't need a car. I don't need a car, so, you know. <laughs> I don't need to as a friend. <gasps> no. Uh, so, but, yeah, and I, I know that people that would like to interview, but... Just to sleep her alone, you know. I'm just, I'm so, I'm so tired of the Meghan Markle hate. It's like, there's too much hate in this world. If you don't like somebody, move on. Like, why are you wasting your breath? Why are you hiding behind a keyboard? Typing in nasty comments. Which, by the way, are just words that unscramble and don't mean anything. So, yeah. Anyway, it's just my two cents. <laughs> oh no, it's just and like, cause like Harry, like they stepped back because he didn't want history to repeat itself. What happened to his mom? He didn't want that to happen to his wife. Understandable, totally. Yeah, I would do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just let them live their life, you know. And I know they have a book deal, and they have like I think something with Netflix. Um, and I, people aren't happy because they supposedly are supposed to be spilling other people's secrets. So, but I don't know if that's the case. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I would be a little tick if they were spilling my secret. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that's just, I don't know because that's that's all speculation. I don't know if it actually is or what. So the books are not yet, so we'll see. <laughs> you gotta make money somehow. <laughs> Anyways. I'm going to finish my coffee, I'm going to take my time, yeah, start cleaning this house because, oof, it needs it. Well, it's a beautiful Saturday fall afternoon. <laughs> it stopped raining. It only rained a little bit in the morning and that was it. But it's a little cold. It is a little cold. Yeah, there is a breeze. Um, not much has gotten done today. Today is just a complete write-off. Um... Because I still feel headachy. Like yesterday I was headachy. It went away and it came back. And I think it's just weather related. It's one of those headaches. Because it's cooler. You know. The weather is changing. And it doesn't do good for headaches. No. <laughs> no. So. Right now I feel okay. But it's like kind of on and off. Uh, and it's not like your pounding headache. It's that other kind of headache that. Yeah, it's, it's just annoying, that's all, annoying, yeah. Yeah, so I figured I'd come out for a little bit and just end the vlog because it's just been that kind of day. Not much has gone done, and that's okay. Uh, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> uh, tomorrow will be a better day, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, I think it's just the weather. Yep. Anyways, so yeah, I think I guess that's about it. Oh, our Wi-Fi went out for um, I think like three hours, so that was not fun. And the hubby called our company, and um, they said it might be like a wire outside. So I don't know if they're gonna come and look at it. It did come back on though, but this is the third time it's gone out this week. It went out Wednesday for three hours, and then Thursday it went out for 20 minutes. Okay, not too, too bad. And then, around 12 o'clock this afternoon, it went out again. And it's like, what's going on? I'm paying good money for Wi-Fi that is not working. You know, I don't like that. So, mm -hmm. so I can hopefully um, figure it out, because maybe that's what's giving me a headache. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, and I hope everyone who is affected by Fiona 
I hope everyone is doing good. I hope you, you, you're staying safe. I've seen the footage, the footage on TikTok. Um, yeah, she came in like a wrecking ball, didn't she? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So I hope, um, I think it's PEI in somewhere in Nova Scotia that got really hit. So I hope my friends are doing well and that you're staying safe. And yeah, that she, uh, I don't know, that she doesn't bring Sheck with her. I hope not, you know, because it's like, wow, she, she did some damage. She really did. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm going to call it a night. So I'm just going to relax. Maybe um, get some cleaning done later on. Or you know what? Tomorrow's another day. It's going to be there tomorrow. It's been that kind of week. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching. Take care, everybody. So I'll see you next one video. All right. Ta-ta for now. Bye.